Welcome to the December 5th, 2022 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman with a fast-paced tour of the weekly financial markets with some humor mixed in and some lessons. I'm going to take the headlines you've been hearing and we're going to dissect what the actual numbers say give you a preview of the end of 22 and potential forecast for 2023 as we go. I'm also president McGowan Group Asset Management, a team of 10, the team that cares. They are busy each week to bring you the best client update designed to make you wealthier through great decisions by knowing what's actually going on in the economy. Let's start with inflation. This is what the Fed's been using to justify the rate increases. And that's the personal consumption expenditures chain. That's an inflation measure. This month it came in at 0.3%. The core number was 0.2. It was lower, but we'll go with this 0.3. Well, that would annualize at about 3.7% if every month it was 0.3. So that says inflation is no longer this 7, 8% figure, the 9% at the peak, it's something less than that. And these numbers are telling you that the last 120 days, if I take these together, I'm getting an inflation rate that's a more normal 2.5%, maybe even a little bit less, uh, versus the peak, which that would have annualized at 12%. That's a lot of inflation. Well, with inflation coming down, the Fed won't be the big story, I think, in 90 days. And Jerome Powell this week led to a 700-point rally when he said, we're going to moderate the pace of the Federal Reserve increases, potentially as soon as the December meeting, where they announced it on December 14th, coming up in about 10 days. Now, these numbers are just some year-to-date updates. S&P 500 is a minus 14. Tech stocks are a minus 27% measured by the NASDAQ 100. And I'm going to show you some of the dangers of the speculation that went on uh, last November, starting with Bitcoin down 63%. West Texas Intermediate on a year-to-date basis is a plus 9%. There's a pretty good spike in West Texas Intermediate crude back above $80, where the companies do quite well. In the case of what did better than the S&P minus 14, I've got a basket of what we call medical dividend companies. Not a recommendation for your portfolio until you actually get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management. You can do that by Zoom or come down, meet the team at the Crescent, get the tour, and we'll do a plan for you in a brainstorming session. Takes about an hour. All right. Bristol-Myers up 33%, AbbVie up 23%, Unum up 82%, Merck up 45%. And these companies were making some all-time highs this week. That's a notable category that is inflation-friendly. What else is inflation-friendly? Energy infrastructure. These are the pipelines and refineries. They're up 31% for the year. That's been a strong spot, too, that's helped us to ascend to a much more reliable uh, return for the year. This is natural gas over 25 years. The big facility in the Gulf that was out of commission because of a blast has come back on stream. Europe is going to take their liquid natural gas imports and expand their capacity by a third by the end of 2023. That is a big jump, end of 2024, excuse me, but that's a big jump in demand for U.S. natural gas, and it could spike the price back to $10 per million BTUs. You could see it's historically elevated. That's the shale revolution, taking natural gas to $1.40, helped to make the U.S., by the way, a much more competitive manufacturer. And this, is good. this infrastructure that allows the exportation and, of course, the pipelines, that's going to be a big topic this winter, but it's also a nice potential source of profit. This is Kathy Wood's fund. She's on CNBC a lot. Just want to give you the real story. We go back two years, the fund hit $158. Now, that 
Innovation Fund, the ARC Innovation Fund, is 32.50. It's a 75% decline from its peak. And then Kathy Wood came on CNBC and said she thinks Bitcoin could go to a million dollars a coin, which would be about 21 trillion in total value. Uh, that's more than the central bank balance sheet of the United States and Europe combined. So I'm, I'm not quite sure where she's getting that. But the point is that when you, when you get really excited about something, there needs to be a discussion on the better choices. And that's what we do at the investment committee here at McGowan Group Asset Management each and every week. Real assets focused on real cash flow that can make a difference in your portfolio with the goals of, yes, paying the bills, having a surplus, and getting growth that exceeds inflation over time. Come see us at the Crescent or messages from the website at networthradio.com. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your kids, the trustees, with your parents, uh, people that are asking you what you think what they should be doing in the financial markets. This is a great way to answer by sharing. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets. Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent, and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions, the research that comes up. Now, the net worth media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. At networthradio.com, you can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous chasing things or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.